Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I came to lift up the name of Jesus. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that God has already done in my life, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Lord, I thank God for saving me. Glory to God. Because if it had not been for God, who was on our side, glory to God, somebody know where they would be. Somebody know how they would be. But I thank God, hallelujah, that I can testify that I am saved. I am sanctified. I am filled with the blessed Holy Ghost. Hey, glory to God. Because everybody, one day, we're going to have to keep this appointment. And this is one appointment that we can't say, hold up. Can I cancel it coming in the next two weeks? No, but when God calls your name, it's your time and your season. So I encourage you, glory to God, to get your mind right. Get yourself together. Get your business straight. Because I promise you, God is on his way. Hallelujah. And time, glory to God. Time, time, time. Oh, time, time. And see, some of us think we have time, but I want you to know, yeah, the hearse reel is rolling. And God is calling the roll. And my thing is, and my question today, when will your name be called? But I just want to warn you on today that one day, soon and very soon, God's going to call our name. But the question today is, will you be ready? Woo, glory to God. I'm going to try now. I'm going to try. I told God I'm trying to calm down on my way. Come in. I say, God, oh God, I want to calm down, God. I don't want to go too far ahead, but when I think of his goodness and how God has already kept us, how he already covered us, how he already shielded us, how he already manifested himself, how he already walking it out. I said, Lord, have mercy. I thank God for grace and mercy. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we're here to celebrate. And celebrate, that means we make a joyful noise of the life. I thought of 80 years. Oh, that's something to celebrate. And we all know how Tony was. He was one of the ones that all he needed was a cigarette, cross them legs, and sit on the porch, glory to God. But my prayer was, Donna and, and, and Lane, and Minnie Ruth and the rest of y'all family, did anybody take out the time to minister the word that his soul, glory to God, wouldn't be lost, hallelujah, that he'll be caught up, glory to God, to be with Jesus, hallelujah, even though we know the condition. But did anybody take out the time to minister to him? Because I said I hadn't seen him in so many years, glory to God, and I don't know, glory to God, was he saved? But I'm believing in my heart, glory to God. Somewhere along the way of 80 years, he got his mind fixed and got his mind made up, glory to God. That one day I'm going home to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. But we thank and we praise God right here. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to calm down. I'm calm down. Woo! Because when I think, hallelujah. Of all God has already done, this is another opportunity for us to give God praise and to get it right. Hallelujah. Right here, we're going to have our opening song. Amen. We ask Sister Trina, if she would, amen, would hit us a note. Amen. And I just thank and I praise God for this opportunity. Amen. And I count it a privilege to the Bookett family that you would appoint me, glory to God, hallelujah. Little old me, glory to God, from right down the street. Glory to God, hallelujah. 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 I came to tell you what Jesus said. Come on, y'all know that. I came to tell you.
that water It chilled my body But not my soul Oh, I came to tell you Anybody came to hear what Jesus said? I say, have anybody heard what Jesus has said? He said, you got to repent of your sins and be baptized. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I have the charge of reading the Old and New Testament scriptures. The Old Testament scripture is taken from Psalms, the 23rd chapter. Psalms, the 23rd chapter. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And it reads, the Lord is my shepherd. There's nothing I lack. He lets me lay down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He renews my soul. He leads me along the right path for his name's sake. Even when I go through the dark valleys, yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, some versions say, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thus I have read Psalms 23 in its entirety. Our New Testament text is taken from Revelations, the 14th chapter, the 12th and 13th verse, and it reads, This demands the perseverance of the saints who keeps God's commands and their faith in Jesus. <laughs> then I heard a voice from heaven say, Right, the dead who die in the Lord from now on are blessed. Yes, saith the Spirit. Let them rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Thus I have read the New Testament version of Revelations the 14th chapter, the 12th through the 13th verse. Hallelujah. Let us go into prayer. Most gracious and glorious God, we come to you today, Lord God, to thank you, Lord. Father God, we want to thank you for Brother Booker, Lord God. We want to thank you for the life that he lived, Lord God, that he was a presence, Lord God, within his family, Lord God. Father God, we want to thank you, Lord God, that even though he was soft-spoken, he still had a presence, Lord God. Father God, I just want to tell you, thank you, Lord God. Even though he was laid back, Lord God, you said uh, uh, in your word that you love somebody with a humble spirit, Lord God. Yet he was a humble man, Lord God. Lord, we want to thank you for his life, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for his family, Lord God. And in this time right now of their bereavement, Though he is gone to be with glory, for to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Father, we want to thank you right now for his life, Lord God. Thank you that his sisters got a chance to interact with him, that his brothers got a chance to interact with him, that his nieces and nephews and cousins got a chance to interact with him, that his community had a chance to interact with him. Lord, thank you right now, Lord God, for the life that you have given and surely as you have given the life, you have taken it back. For it is yours all the way. Lord God, we give you glory, honor, and praise. Action now to comfort this family in the midst of their grief, Lord God. For your word says, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted, Lord God. In the late midnight hours when nobody's there, Lord God, we pray that your spirit will send comfort. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Go now in this service from heart to heart, mind to mind, and breast to breast, and give them the comfort that they need. Strengthen them in their time of weakness. Prop them up on the, on the edges of sides where they are torn down. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Let every heart say amen. 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 At this time, we'll have a solo of Sister Trina Taylor. Come on, put your hands together for this celebration. Give God the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come I on. truly believe. Come on, come on. We've been free. Here. Hallelujah. We're giving glory to the Hallelujah. life that He lived. We thank the Lord Hallelujah. for the life that He woke. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As I said, I truly believe that Mr. Tony is free. He, he's free now. Uh, many times I passed him along the, the highway and um, I look over and like she said, he would just be sitting there. He was very humble, very quiet spoken. So I take comfort in knowing that he has no more pain. And I know you're going to miss him, but I truly believe that he is free. I am free, praise the Lord, I'm free, no longer bound, oh Lord, there ain't no chains holding me, my soul is resting. Ain't that a blessing? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Now Satan is mad. Oh, and one thing I know is that I'm so glad. He missed this soul, oh Lord, that he thought he had. My soul is resting, and that is a blessing, oh praise. time we'll have remarks hallelujah first by Barbara Palmer then Miss Sharon Johnson in that order if you would Honor to God and the pulpit. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Anytime, anytime, y'all. I met Lane and Tony like in 88, 89. 
because my husband's brother, Danny, met Lane. So we became a family. And the first time I saw Tony, y'all, Tony came to the house on today, he my girlfriend. So I said, I'm your girlfriend. She said, yeah, you went to school with me. I said, I'm Tony. She said, yeah, you is. What's your name? I said, Bob, he said, well, you my girlfriend. I said, but Tony, that my husband met that. He said, I don't care, you my girlfriend. That's okay. So I'm Tony's girlfriend, Barbara Fong. Tony used to smoke them cigarettes and drink them Pepsi Cola. Because I used to take him down the hill to get him. Now, if he came to Lane House and I was there, I was his girlfriend. I sit right there to the table and ate with him. And if he wasn't there, I'd go over to the trailer. Come on in, girlfriend. My husband was there. I went there. He knew when I left, I was going to sit down with Tony. But Tony was sweet. He was a sweetheart. But he 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 getting mad. He he tell you where it was now. But he was straight. Tony was good. He was good hearted. He was sweet. And to the family, y'all remember all the good times y'all had with Tony. Remember that pretty smiley head and remember with them leg calls shaking that leg. But Tony, just keep him in your heart. Everybody, sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews, everybody, keep Tony in your heart. Now look here, Miss Miss Hale. Now you 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 don't mess my heart up today. <laughs> and here with that thing. I got a little song on my heart. Y'all hear me sing a little bit. Just a little bit, y'all. Y'all got time. I want a little bit. A little bit. When I need him, oh. when I need him most, you know Jesus stepped right in. When I need, yo, yeah, when I need, just when I need, you know Jesus stepped right in when I need Oh, well, I came to Jesus, y'all, just as I was, I was very warm inside, you so good to me. He's so, been so good to us, everybody. I'm telling you. Thank you, Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a, it's a sad occasion, but I just give God the praise because he's been good to me. And Lord, I just pray to the family. I let the family know that I prayed and I touch and I touch and agree with God. He saw that Tony needed to rest, and he took him home. Uh, giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who's the head of my life, I greet you in the name of the Lord. Amen. To the clergy members, pastors, and friends, greeting. 
Tony was a kind, fun-loving, wonderful person. He helped me and my husband to keep our yard looking beautiful. Aaron and I will truly miss him. So, Tony, go ahead on. Take your rest. We'll see you in the by and by. Thank you. Praise God. I feel, I feel like I am the one that, I'm, a, I'm the seed. I am the only girl of Tony Booker. That's my youngest brother over there, Talmadge Booker. Um, God allowed me a couple months ago to be the one that he assigned to be with daddy during his last days. I want my family to know that God showed favor Even in the midst of this COVID, when I wasn't supposed to go in the hospital, but God showed favor where I could go in. And God allowed man to give me an hour with him. During that hour, I developed a relationship with my dad that I never had. And I do believe that it was my assignment to do that. Not only did I develop a relationship with him. I have some memories and some things that I didn't even know his favorite color. My brother was just three years old when my dad got sick. It wasn't anything of his doing. It's just what God allowed. So my brother doesn't, under, doesn't have a relationship and he doesn't have a lot of memories. But I thank God for the past four months that I know my dad's color. He told me he loved me. And whenever I would go to the home to see him, the big eyes, he would just get so excited about his baby girl. And I want you to also know that I witnessed to my father. I asked him, did he know the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? And I want you to know he told me he did. That's why I can stand up here and I have peace. I didn't have a lot of time with him on the typical father and daughter relationship. But I want you guys to know that I have peace and God has reassured me. And I just believe that God is, that daddy is with God and he's fine. He's out of his misery. And we as a family aren't many. You have done all you could do for daddy. Yes. And I just want you to know that my brothers and I, we thank you for it because you have been there when we didn't even know to be there. So you just take pleasure and just knowing that you did what you were supposed to do and that I feel that daddy is fine. I believe that he's with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I love you guys. And if it's anything I can do for you, um, you just let me know. But I just want you to know that I do feel that God is, has, has really shown favor on daddy and he's fine. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now we're going to use some technology here. For the this is for his sister that lives next door that asked me to sing. Um, and I know that a lot of times we go through life and, you know, we don't know how we make it. Nobody's perfect. And if it wasn't for the grace of God and mercy, God knows we couldn't make it. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I make it all these years how did I make it this far through the storm and through the rain y'all I know it had to be God how did I make it through the valley how did I make it through the hills, y'all? If you want to know just how I made it, it's 
it's not easy to explain. It was God's grace. God's grace. It was God's grace. His amazing grace, y'all I made it this far, by the grace of God, it was God's grace, God's amazing grace, God's grace, His amazing grace, I made it this far. It was by the grace of God. How did I make it? Having to work so hard. Sometimes I felt so all alone, y'all. But I know I could trust in God. He'll never leave my side. How did I make it when I had to leave my loved ones, y'all? Not being able to see them on a daily basis. But God was there through all of my tears. And I know he's going to carry me on. Oh, it was God's grace. It's amazing grace. Yeah, it was God's grace. It's amazing grace. Y'all, I made it this far. It was by the grace, the grace of God. Don't you worry, cause I'm all right now. If you live for Jesus, you'll see me on the other side, yeah. Take care of one another, be there for them. God would have you to do this, oh. God's grace, His amazing grace, y'all. Grace and mercy kept me when I couldn't keep myself. God's grace. It was by the grace. The grace of God. God's grace. God's grace. His amazing grace and mercy, y'all. We're not consumed. Oh, he made it this far. It was by the grace of God. God's grace. It's amazing, y'all. I'm telling you what I know. Y'all, I made it this far. By the grace, the grace of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's it grace. was what? God's grace. That we made it what? This far. His grace and his mercy is sufficient. We thank and we praise God. We honor God. We thank God. Uh, for the life of Tony, for the family, seeing some of you hadn't seen y'all in years. But I thank and praise God. We all look almost the same. We just didn't gain a couple pounds. But nevertheless, guess what? We are still who we was almost 40-something years plus ago. Amen. Glory to God. I tell you what, it is, you know, even in the occasion that it is such a sad occasion, but just when you haven't seen people in years, and just to be able to put your eye, put your eyes on people you hadn't seen in years, and people that you have been praying for may not have been calling you by name, but corporately calling you as a whole, glory to God. I thank and I praise God that I can put my eyes on you. 
uh, Minnie Ruth and Donna hadn't seen y'all in years, but I thank and I praise God. Carmen hadn't seen you in years, but I thank and I praise Tibby hadn't seen you in years, but I thank and I praise God. I know you probably said Tibby. Yeah, you know we got them nicknames, but we praise God. Amen. They will follow us the rest of our lives. Amen. Everybody, if you was to say Sonia Brown, they'd be looking around like, who is that? But if you call TC, they know exactly who I am. Amen. I still, and I still answer to that. Why? Because that's what I was brought up on. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's how I was identified. Glory to God that, you know, uh, we was in relationship. Glory to God. Cousins and um, uncles and all that. But if you call me by my real name, people would be looking at you like, I don't know who that is. But if you call me by the nickname, I promise you. Oh, yeah, I know. That's Don Boy's daughter. Glory to God. But I bless God. And it's so good to see y'all. And I want to take the time out to say I thank y'all. Thank you, Lane, and all of you for appointing my son and me to help push this service on through. Amen. Knowing that, as I said earlier, all of us are appointed to die. But how many know we got a chance we can live again? Yeah. Woo! Because what we fail to realize, even in the midst of all the turbulence and all the pandemic going on, God is still the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Nothing catches God by surprise. But I just want to have your attention just for a little while. And I'm saying to God, God, what would you have me to say? Because, see, God already knew who was going to be in. He already knew what the family needed. And he already knew what the house needed. Amen. But I bless God and I thank God. Father, we bless you. We praise you. We magnify your name. God, I thank you, God. Hide me behind the cross, God, and you show yourself mighty, show yourself strong, God, in the name of Jesus. Because this is your word, God. I'm just a mouthpiece, a vessel willing to be used by you, oh God. Oh God, I ask you, God, to show yourself in this family, God, that you are God and you're still God and you're going to carry them through. The late wee hours, God, you're going to be the one that rocked them, the one that cradled them, the one that... Um, give them comfort, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you now. 80 years, God. We give you praise for Tony's life, God. And I am so grateful, God, so grateful, so grateful to be able to just um, know of him and, and, and know, uh, have a, 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 some uh, identifying with him and with his life, oh God. I thank you for that, Lord God. I thank you for this family, God. Continue to um, cur encourage them through your word, God. Oh God, give them songs to sing, God. Give them most of all the memories of Tony, glory to God, that we hide in our heart, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Come on and clap them hands and tell the Lord thank you. I'm telling you, if it had not been for God, who was on our side. But I just want to gather your attention just for a little while here this afternoon. And God gave me a word to encourage the family. Glory to God. And I thought about as um as I was getting prepared, as this was given, to, this assignment was given to me. I said, "Okay, God, it's in your hand." Amen. Glory to God. But I thank and I praise God. But if I would use, I want to use for a thought today. And I want you to think about it because it's in relationship, in relating to um, examining yourself. Amen. We don't have to worry about nobody else trying to identify who we are, where we are. But God gave me a topic and the topic was, what is your relationship with Christ? What is your relationship with Christ? God said, I want people to identify themselves as um, to uh, be able to uh, uh, examine them on their own self. That way nobody don't have to worry about where well, this person this and this person that. But God said, I want you to take the time out to examine your own self. What is your, re the question is, what is your relationship with Christ on today? And I want to use a couple of uh, uh, top, uh, scriptures that God gave me. And I want to go in First Peter, Second Peter, Amen, the third chapter. Glory to God, just telling us about what God wants us to do, how He wants us to do it, Amen. And that'll be Second Peter, the third chapter, starting at the eighth verse. And I'll be reading out of the NIV. Glory to God. It said, "But do not forget this one thing, dear friends: with the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like a day." The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, y'all. Whatever he promised, he ain't slow on it. 
Amen. And it said, as some understand slowness, instead he is patient with us, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. I'm telling you, what's your relationship with Christ? He telling us right here in Second Peter, in Second Peter, the third chapter. He said, "I'm slow. I'm, I'm patiently waiting on some of us that hadn't hit the mark. Amen. That haven't got that relationship and haven't got their mind made up. Glory to God. That for God I live and for God I die. And haven't got their mind made up. Glory to God. That I'm going to serve the Lord until I die. Hadn't got their minds made up." Oh, glory to God. That, oh, God, what do you need me to do, God? How do I need to do it, God? When do I need to do it, God? God say, I'm giving you time. I, I, I'm patient with you. I am slow. Glory to God. I'm waiting on you, glory to God. I'm waiting on some of us because we can't uh, assume that everybody is saved. No, 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 no. And the reason I say that because hell is enlarging itself, glory to God. So I said, the day is the day if you haven't got your mind made up, hadn't got your business fixed, glory to God. Today is the day to get your mind made up, to repent, ask God to forgive you. He'll wipe your slate clean. He'll call you, he'll make you new, glory to God. But God said, I'm waiting patiently. Patiently wait. I thought about this pandemic that's going on, dog. And I thought about when it first started. And the first thing came to my mind Because all of us one day, we're going to meet the same, the same appointment, going to come around. But the key thing is, will you be ready? Will you be ready? Because he's going to call your name. And he's going to call it individual. And I love to use the example of where we have an accident.
that's represented here today. God said, get your business straight. He said, I'm waiting patiently on you. He said, I'm giving you time. If you just make up in your mind, let me, accept me as your personal Savior. He said, I'll do the rest. But he said, that's why I need you to answer me. Glory to God. I'm telling you, we serve an awesome God. And we serve a mighty God. And we serve a God that has never lost a case. So I encourage you today that you will get your business straight, that you will examine yourself. And the question I leave with you today, whoo, glory to God, I hear you, Holy Ghost. The question I leave with you today, glory to God, what is your relationship with Christ? What is your relationship? Go back and read the word of God. That God can minister to you, minister to us, amen, that we won't be afraid to die. We won't ponder in our minds. serve you for the rest of my life I'll serve the Lord because he has done just that much for me that God you have won my approval in my life do what you want to do with me God and we got to be mindful when we say do what you want to do because God he'll allow us like he did Job he'll start snatching stuff just to see whether we gonna stand firm he allow our children to leave. He allow our count, our livestock, our money. He allow all that to go. But when you know for sure, I'm not gonna watch you pay for me. God, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna walk with you. I'm gonna obey you, God. I'm gonna do your will, God. And I'm gonna not. I said to the family on today, come together. You got time. Time, time, time. Oh, in more time. Glory to God. Work, work, work. Serve, serve, serve. Glory to God. Do, do, do all you can do for the Lord. That the God, that God we serve will get the glory out your life. To God be the glory. To the Booker family. To all of you. We give God praise for you. And I pray that there is something said to encourage you that you would grasp hope to this word, grasp hope to his coattail, and take a ride with Jesus. Because when you ride with Jesus, you can't go wrong. When you walk with Jesus, you can't go wrong. When you talk with Jesus, you can't go wrong. When you live for Jesus, you can't go wrong. Opposition may come, but you can rest assured the Lord is with us. He said, Lo, I'm with you. Always, even until the end of the earth, I am with you. I'll never leave you, not forsake you. Are you sold out for Jesus? Do you know that you're more than a conqueror through him that lives, breathed and moved in your life? Do you know that you're a conqueror to him that serves? Serve and serve and serve. Do you know that you are overcomer? Glory to God. Because God said so. Glory to God. I thank God for who he is. I give God praise for who he is. I praise God because he said. I give him glory because I am. I am a child of the king. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord at all times and a praise shall continually be in my mouth oh magnify the Lord with me and let us exhort his name together I'm telling you I thank you Lord for doing what you're doing in this season because with you God all things are possible to him that believes 
Come on, let's give God some praise for who he is. He is awesome in our lives. And we can't do nothing without God. But with God, all things are possible to him that believe. I love y'all, Booker family. I love y'all, I love y'all, I love y'all. And we thank God for leaving, amen. Glory to God. Thank God for our psalmstress. Thank God for our presider, Pastor Mitchell. Thank God for our, our keyboard pianist. We thank God for all of you, amen. God bless you. What a word. I said, what a word. Are you ready for the Lord? I know I've been charged with giving the committal, but I, 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 I find it not proper to always open up the doors of Christ. If there be anybody in here today that doesn't know the Lord by the pardoning of your sins, but you have heard the word today. You have examined yourself and you feel the spirit of the Lord tugging at you. Even right here at this memorial service, you can be saved. You can give your Lord, to, give the Lord your life and watch him take over your life and cast out those demons you've been dealing with all this time. Is there anybody that says, I, I repent, I want to be baptized, as Peter told Hallelujah. the saints in Antioch? Hallelujah. This is your chance, yes. and this is your opportunity. Glory. Hallelujah. If there be none, I shall go move forward. For as much as it hath pleased God Almighty in his wise providence to take out of this world unto himself the soul of our deceased brother, Mr. Tony Lucius Booker Sr. My goodness. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes and dust to dust. And we shall say a prayer for the family as we give benediction. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we come to you right now again. In this hour, Lord God, where we have committed our dear brother, Lord God. Lord God, we give him to you, Lord God. And Lord, we pray that your precious spirit would rest on his children. That your precious spirit would rest on his brothers, his sisters, his nieces, his nephews, his friends. Father God, we pray right now, Lord God, that we can rejoice. As his daughter said, she knows that he is with the Lord. Lord, we thank you that you thought it not robbery to receive him unto yourself. Father God, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. Now we want to say the prayer that you have taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Now, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Everybody say amen. 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 Family and friends, first we'd like to take this time to thank God for these beautiful services that we experienced on today. To the members of the clergy, we thank you for all you've done to undergird this family in love, especially you, Evangelist Brown, for reminding us that we must evaluate our relationship with God because we too must pass this way. 
To the many friends and well wishes, we thank you for all you've done for this family, to the floor arrangements, phone calls, cards, whatever you've done, we thank you for lifting up this family in love. And most importantly, we thank you for your prayers, because it is the book of James that reminds us that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous truly do avail of much, and we ask you to continue to keep this family in your prayers. And last but not least, to this beautiful family, we, on behalf of our owner, Mr. I.S. Levy Johnson, and our and the entire staff at the Levy's funeral home, we do thank you for entrusting your loved one in our care. We know that death is not an easy thing to bear, but with God, he's going to get us all through this. Amen? Amen. The benediction has already been given, so we, uh, this has concluded our services, and we pray that you all have a blessed and prosperous day. <laughs>